Now if you look at the objective function that is being minimized here, it's interesting to note, and that's relatively easy to show, I'll leave this as, a, as an assignment or as an exercise, um, to show that this expression, which is the same as this one, except that we have added an alpha here to be able to distinguish different solutions, that this is equivalent to the product of y with l and y. So y transpose l y equals this expression. And that's now interesting because it allows us to find the solutions uh, in a very simple way because it's known that for a symmetric matrix uh, this one is minimized subject to these constraints. Uh, this one is minimized by the eigenvector with the smallest eigenvalue. Now uh, we know already that the 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 vector is one of the eigenvectors. It's actually the first eigenvector with eigenvalue 0. <coughs> and that in some sense would be a good solution if, if we didn't have this constraint here. Um, so this constraint um, Oh, sorry. If we didn't have this constraint here. So this would be violated for the 1, 1, 1, 1 vector. Actually, this is the 1, 1, 1, 1 vector. So this is the first eigenvector. So we have to drop that one and pick the next one. And since we know that for a symmetric matrix, all the eigenvectors are orthogonal, we know that all the other eigenvectors fulfill this constraint because this mean, simply means the, the eigenvectors should be orthogonal to the 1, 1, 1, 1 vector, which is the first eigenvector, right? So we drop the first one and we keep the next ones. So this then actually solves this uh, optimization problem. <coughs> uh, what we have here in addition, while in the optimization problem that we have considered here, we have just we are just looking for one solution. Here we have actually a whole set of solutions because, uh, or we have at least a whole set of eigenvectors, of which the 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 one with the lowest um, eigenvalue that's possible um, <coughs> optimizes the functions. But we have more eigen um, vectors, and this is sort of to acknowledge that, and we know that the different eigenvectors are orthogonal to each other. Now, if we know that the eigenvector, eigenvectors are solutions to this optimization problem, um, <coughs> we can also calculate the value of this function, and that turns out, as you can easily see here, um, right? So we consider the value of this one here, which is this one. Now, if y is an eigenvector, then this one here, according to this equation, is simply eigenvalue times eigenvector, and then we can take gamma to the front, and knowing that this is normalized according to this function here, we see that this is simply gamma. <coughs> um, okay, I've said here that the first eigenvector of this equation here would be the 1, 1, 1, 1 vector. That's um, not allowed because of this equation here, so we drop that one. And the next one would actually minimize this, but we have more, and they're all orthogonal to each other. And this will be important if you want to have, have an embedding not only in one dimension, but in higher dimensions. Then we need additional <coughs> solutions, and uh, the eigenvalue equation here gives us these additional solutions which are orthogonal to the previous ones, and they're all assumed to be normalized. Now there's a similar um, optimization problem also for the, sorry, a similar eigenvalue equation for this version with its normalized constraints or weighted constraints. And this is a generalized eigenvalue problem that's shown here. So rather than lambda u equals, uh, sorry, l u equals lambda u, we have now have l u equals lambda d u. <coughs> and that solves this optimization problem. Uh, under these constraints. Yeah? So we have a weighted unit norm and we have a weighted orthogonality. And like above, we can show that the value of that function is again the eigenvalue.
Yeah. So now we see a very simple way of calculating the solution of the Laplacian eigenmap or expected clustering algorithm. We simply calculate the eigenvectors of matrix L. We dismiss the first one, which we know is the 1, 1, 1, 1 vector, which is boring. And we take the second one if you want to do uh, one dimensional embedding, and we take the set the second and third one if you want to have a two-dimensional embedding and second, third and fourth if we want to have a three-dimensional embedding or any higher dimensions.